Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Explosion Unity Tutorial. Today we're making the particle system that we will use in our little demo. So let's get started. I'm just gonna hide that for now. So make a new effects particle system and let's make the duration two seconds and before we do anything else, let's go into the shape and make it a sphere with a radius of 0.5. Uh, let's turn off a mission, or let's not turn it off, but turn it to zero over right over time in bursts of 75. That's it. Let's make the lifetime two, the speed 30, the size Let's go random between two constants, 0 0.25 to 1, and rotation random between two constants, 0 to 360. Already that looks pretty good, but it does go out really far. And really quick, let's go into renderer, make our trail material default line as well as our particles. Let's go to we're done with these so far. Let's go to velocity over, no. Limit velocity over left, lifetime. Speed of three, dampen 0 0.2. So that makes it go. Okay, next let's do size over lifetime. Go here, let's just make a this curve and that'll make them shrink over time. Then let's do collision, let's turn it on, make it world. It should bounce now? Yeah, it does bounce. Look. I think that looks good. Let's do color over lifetime. Color is a gradient. Let's make it a light yellow to a very orange orange. Let's add trails. Uh, we'll make them particles. Uh, color over trail, nothing. Let's make them width over trail curve this one. Oh, we forgot one thing in the gravity modifier. Let's give it 0 0.5 or higher. I'll go with one. Let's see that. That looks good to me. And again, you can move this around, see how it interacts with your environment. I think that looks good. And yeah, that looks good to me. I'm gonna reset its transform and then make it, let's call this uh, explosion effect. And then in the assets, let's just drag it in. Now let's add this to our explosion script, which if you didn't do this in the last episode, check it out in the eye in the top right corner. This is also a good time to remind you guys to subscribe and hit that like button, as it'll really help the channel grow and make and help me make more content like this in the future. So let's open up C4 Explosions and wait for Visual Studio to open up. Let's make a new a uh, particle system explosion particles and then in here let's go explosion particles equals particle system dot instantiate explode let's make an another explosion particles explosion prefab 
So instantiate explosion prefab C4 instantiation.transform.position quaternion.identity. Then let's go explosion particles dot play. And let's also make this public. Let's see if it works. So in the player, in the mouse or the main camera, explosion object, explosion particles is, or explosion prefab is the explosion effect. Now let's see. Oh, make sure in the explosion prefab you turn off looping. And let's maybe scale down the radius. Let's turn back on looping just so we can see. I turn down the speed to see if that'll help it. Oh, gotta turn off looping again. And on the explosion effect, let's just add a script uh, called die after time. And then we'll make a, in the script, we'll make a timer. Let's call it float wait timer. Let's make it 5F and void update wait timer minus equals time dot delta time. If wait timer is less than or equal to 0F, destroy game object. That will destroy the copies that we don't want. Let's see if it works now. It should. And you can see that the particle effects disappear after a bit. And that's how you make an explosion particle effect. Let me know if you liked this Unity tutorial, and if so, stay tuned for more Unity tutorials, especially for explosions. We still have that bomb one coming up where you can throw the bomb, and also modeling the bomb and the C4 like I have in my demo. So that's going to be it. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe and ring that bell. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.